I'm just getting ready for my second opportunity at the Olympics. Michael, how cool is it to see Wade and I mean Stephen obviously too, to see these guys continue to push in this event? Yeah, I mean it's it's great. Uh, they're competitors for sure. Wade is obviously the world record holder. He's a great guy. Um, it's probably him and Karani are probably like uh, some of the, the nicest guys um, that I compete against um, just in terms of how they talk and hold themselves. Uh, him and, and Matthew Hudson Smith as well. So uh, you know, just have high respect for them. But when it comes to rank racing, um, it's just race mentality, beat them or get beat. So uh, I respect them, but I always want to beat them. Yeah. Do, you, do you still train with, you train with Fred, right? Uh, yeah, it's, a, it's, a, it's an interesting dynamic. We're, we're around each other all the time. Okay. Well, <laughs> it's, it's an interesting dynamic, <laughs> but yes, well, short story, yes. Do you want to elaborate? What do you mean interesting dynamic? It's, it's too complicated to, to explain. Okay. <laughs> we, we run different events. Um, it's like interchangeable. Uh, sometimes we run together, sometimes we won't. Sometimes we practice different times. It just depends. Well, I was going to say, I mean, how do you feel about him getting on the team after setbacks? Oh, man, that dude is, uh, if anybody's going to bet on themselves, it's him. <laughs> he has 100% faith in himself, and that's what makes Fred uh, unique. So, uh, you yeah, know, I'm happy for him. I'm happy for everybody in my training uh, group. We're just waiting for two more people, Isaiah and uh, Ry Benjamin, to do their thing um, for the next session. So I'm um, excited to watch them compete over the next couple of days while I go train. And then just the last question for me. I, I don't know if I asked you about Michael Johnson's league the other day. I'm yeah. Like, what's your thoughts on it? Are you interested in maybe joining if you have the opportunity to? And yeah. Um, that's a very great question. Um, initially, it sounds like a very ambitious and great idea for the sport, but logistically, um, kind of curious to see how uh, viable it's going to be after one year. I'm um, also going to sit down with my agent and figure out, um, you know, what makes the most sense because, you know, we got to look at his league and what's important to us in terms of our contracts and what uh, keeps us from getting reduced. Um, so um, it's a fine balance between the two, and we got to figure out um, a situation that uh, is beneficial for both parties. But um, I think the, the biggest concern for me with the league right now is finding now uh, what type of TV deal he's going to have. Because if there's no TV deal, I think that's where the majority of the money is. And um, how is he going to market it? I think those are like going to be like the two uh, main points of argument for me uh, to see how successful the league is. I love the ambition, but again, it's I'm, I'm still a little bit skeptical looking um, at the league uh, to see if it's going to be something that is going to be um, around for multiple years. Well, but uh, we'll see. I mean, talk to Major. <laughs> what about the doubling? Sorry? Is the doubling a concern, having to double at every meet? Nah. Two, four, and three what? days? Nah. And it's more of a timing of races, events, um, like Olympics, World Champs, because obviously uh, World Champs is the most important thing when it comes to contracts. So um, um, if the league interferes with our preparation towards uh, the World Championships or US Champs, then it would be quite difficult to justify uh, participating in something like that that um, quote unquote doesn't hold as much weight as the World Championship. And the money for like, for one meet, is that pretty good though, for the way they've structured uh, it? What is it? <laughs> I don't even know. Well, if you win the double, you get a hundred grand. That's if you win all four, right? No, or for one each meet. Each meet? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. Uh, that's kind of nice. Actually, it's really nice. <laughs> yeah. What What'd you say to Kendall after, I know we were like down here when she raced, but what was like maybe the first thing you said to her when you got to see her? I didn't get to see her till this mm, I don't even really, I didn't think, I don't think I even really congratulated her, to be honest. She was gone. She was gone. And I, I had to get ready for the next round. So I was already leaving the stadium before she even came through because she had to get ready for all the, uh, Metal ceremony and all that stuff. So um, we had our group chat. Our group chat blew up. Blew up. Like all the coaches and the training group, we blew up for her. We we're so happy for her. So and she she knows it for sure. Um, so yeah, I mean, I'm really happy for her. Happy for Fred. Now I'm just waiting for the next two guys to just secure their way to the Olympics. There you go. And I'm sure they already asked about your race today, but how was that for you? Uh, terrible. <laughs> I ran a sh crappy race. I almost cussed. Sorry. I ran a terrible race, but uh, you know, you live and learn. That was my fifth race of the season, uh, third competitive race, I would say. Um, got a little too excited on the back stretch, so I got to make the corrections now if I want to be um, running a lot faster. I know I have 43 in me. Uh, it's just a matter of execution, so I'm gonna go get the track tomorrow and uh, punch my pillow or something. Like you started out too fast, or what are you saying? Uh, I ran down the back stretch too fast. Are you be ready for Paris? I'm already ready. Okay. Good luck. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, I just got fine tuning.